Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the RM Network. And this video is a little unorthodox, not usually what we do here. We usually stick with movies and TVs and stuff of that sort. But today, we need to talk about YouTube. So basically, you might have been hearing about this, but you probably be haven't been, because it's only affecting small creators like ourselves. So, uh, the RM Network, as some of you may know, we've been doing movie reviews and TV reviews on YouTube for about a year now, and we've been consistently uploading original content, which seems to be what YouTube wants until we get something like this. So basically what happened is last night, we get this email from YouTube, and I'll just read it for you. I'll include visuals on the screen. So basically, email from YouTube, legit email from Team YouTube, the RM Network. Today we're announcing changes to the YouTube Partner Program, YPP. While our goal remains to keep the YPP as open to many channels as possible, yeah, sure, 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 sure. We recognize that we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. So what's changing? Under the new eligibility, eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel, the RM Network, is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will, use, will lose all access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partner Program on February 20th, 2018, unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. Accordingly, this email serves as your 30 days notice that your YouTube Partner Program terms are terminated. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Creators, creators who haven't yet reached this new threshold can continue to benefit from our Creator Academy, our Help Center, and all the resources on the Creator site to grow their channels. Once your channel reaches the new threshold, it'll be reviewed to make sure it adheres to our policies and guidelines, and if so, monetization will be re-enabled. The YouTube team. So, in short, we can't monetize our videos anymore because we're too small of a channel. So we were actually having problems with this in the past. We were getting demonetized for absolutely nothing. We were getting demonetized for being not advertiser friendly in completely advertiser friendly content. And we were like request a made an overview, stuff like that, stuff you would do on that kind of video. But the thing was, they couldn't review a video unless it had a thousand views, which we hardly ever make because we're such a small channel. So instead of doing something to fix that, they decided to remove all monetization for all of these small channels whatsoever. So what we wanted was for our monetization to be uh, to come back and be better after this adpocalypse that we've been having that knocks out monetization on videos that don't deserve it. And instead of providing a fix, what YouTube does is they remove all monetization privileges. That's that is not okay. Like, the YouTube Partnership Program, uh, I mean, obviously this isn't our job or anything, this isn't how we're living, but the monetization is a big part of YouTube and it's really a symbol of uh, what, kind of a, your con what kind of content you have. And this, is, this worries me. I'm not actually that mad about the fact that we can't make any money from our videos. What I'm mad about is this proves that YouTube doesn't care about small channels. If you've noticed recently, you'll go to the trending tab, all the trending videos are Logan Paul and late night talk show hosts. Nowhere for what YouTube originally was, which was small channels doing sketches or whatever interested them, any kind of original content. It's only big, giant, money-making corporations that rule YouTube these days. And that's a big problem for what YouTube has become because now this is hardly a platform anymore for someone to express themselves to a wider audience because YouTube, they're removing the whatever program, they're removing the YouTube partner program. And I feel like that's just a symbol for what's to come. I feel like there will be more changes in the algorithm to prevent smaller channels from growing or anything like that. This basically shows that YouTube doesn't care at all about its smaller channels, it doesn't care about the growth of its smaller channels. All it cares about is the big channels and how much money it can make. So this is a huge problem. YouTube has royally screwed up. And, but the thing is, 
what's going to happen? I don't think anyone can do anything about it because once again, this is hitting the small channels. The big channels aren't going to be freaking out about this and writing all these kind of things uh, and writing articles and making videos or anything like that because they don't know about it. They haven't been affected, which is why, like, what I think we need to do is reach out. We need to reach out to bigger channels and really ask for help, for like just someone to cover this, someone to make it clear that YouTube shouldn't be able to do this. They shouldn't, they can't do this to us. But, uh, so yeah, that needs to happen. No one's gonna be covering this because we're little, but I feel like what we need to do is the small channels need to band together. We need to unite. We need to take down, you no, that's not it. We don't need to take down YouTube. Uh, but yeah, back to, back to the topic. This is scary for the future of YouTube. Uh, it really shows a progression towards, uh, corporate videos and Logan Paul filming dead bodies rather than original content from small creators. Uh, I'm worried this will hinder our growth because like I said, this might come with a change in the algorithm that they probably won't tell us about because it's YouTube. Uh, and yeah, this might come with a change in the algorithm because like I said, so YouTube has to make money off videos too. That's why they run ads. But if what they're doing is with every small channel ever, if they're removing all ads from that, you'd think they'd be losing a significant amount of money from that. But the deal, what I think is happening is I think that once again, an algorithm change. I think they're not gonna be promoting our videos, so it doesn't matter either way. Maybe they haven't been promoting our, uh, any videos from smaller channels because uh, they probably haven't been promoting any videos from smaller channels, and that's why they were so easily, so easily able to just cut monetization altogether. It wouldn't be a big financial loss to them. So this, this is awful. This is awful. My favorite part is in the email when it says, while our goal our goal remains to keep the YPP open to as many channels as possible. Yeah, do that by cutting most of your user base. That's a great plan. And so yeah, we need to have 4,000 hours of watch time in the past year and 1,000 subscribers. I don't think that's how it should be done. I think it should be done based on time spent on the site. We've been on the site for a year posting regular content uh, for like an entire year. I feel like that should be enough to prove that we can we can have monetization that we're committed to the site. But no, YouTube seems to just not care about us. YouTube's throwing us under the bus and I don't know what to do. Actually, I do know what to do. I feel like this video should be shared. If people can see this video and know what's happening, then maybe that'll get big enough of a backlash for YouTube to fix this. I Not even just this video, any video, any news article regarding this event that seems to be happening to all the channels that don't meet the requirements, if that gets spread around and if that gets big, that would be great because then YouTube can fix its mistake. So. What I'm asking you to do, this is gonna sound really cheesy. Share this video with everyone you know. Send it to, freaking post it on Reddit, tweet it, tweet it to other YouTubers. Do whatever you can to spread this around, spread other videos around, spread anything regarding this around. Retweet everything you see, just so YouTube knows that we don't accept this problem. So, uh, so we can get this fixed. So, yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to me rant for a certain amount of time. Hope YouTube fixes this. If not, that's going to be an issue. So yeah. Sorry this wasn't a movie review. See you next time.